All right, what is going on, guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger uh, for Comedy I'm back with another Dokkan battle video. And today, we're going to be doing a quick showcase of probably my favorite rotation in this entire game right now, made up of the STR Super Saiyan Blue Kaoken Goku and the AGL EZA Super Saiyan Blue Goku. Now, as you can see, this team is uh, very good, but not exactly optimized for the legendary Goku event. So we're probably gonna die at some point along the way, but that's okay, because the purpose here is not to beat the event, but rather just to show you guys how insanely OP these two blue Gokus are together. All right, so without further ado, let's jump right into it. We're gonna give some orbs to the AGL Goku first, and then for the SDR Goku, and here we go, guys. First turn, first attack. Let's see it. 2.5 mil first attack. 2.5 mil for AGL Super Saiyan Blue Goku. And a little bit less for the STR one. But as you guys know, as you guys know, this guy will build up attack as he takes attacks himself. And of course, both of the Super Saiyan Blue Gokus do stack attack every single time they super by 50%. So they're going to be doing a lot more damage very, very soon, but uh, very, very impressive showing, especially from the AGL Super Saiyan Blue Goku there. But uh, the thing that the AGL Goku, actually no, the thing that the STR Goku has going for him, of course, is the active skill, which can just do some insane, insane numbers, uh, especially when you build up some attack later in the event. So hopefully we don't get it too soon. But uh, we'll see what happens, we'll see what happens, and the great thing about that active skill is that it also buffs the entire rotation, so not only is he going to be doing insane damage that turn with the actual Spirit Bomb, but the rest of the rotation, like the uh, AGL Super Saiyan Blue Goku, is going to be hitting a lot harder too. Okay, second rotation now, or second appearance I guess by the Gokus, and we're going to leave the STR Goku in the front because we want him to take some attacks here. And let's see what we can get now. Now, of course, we still haven't had any supports on rotation yet. Okay, so from the last turn of what, 1.3 1. 1. or something like that to over 2 million on the second turn. Not too shabby. We're still taking attack, still building attack and defense. And two point, almost 2.7 now for the AGL Goku. Dude, these guys are just so much fun to run, man. It's just so much fun for me to... Like, my favorite units in this game, honestly, are the ones that build attack with every single super. Like, uh, Tech Vegito Blue, for example, is a lot of fun to run just because I love seeing the numbers get higher and higher every single time. So these guys are a lot like that, where, um, I mean, for them, it's not their passive, but rather they just build attack with their super. And for Tech Vegito, it's his passive, but they're very, very similar in the sense where it's just, like, really fun to see these numbers get higher and higher and higher and of course for these guys it's infinite so essentially as long as the event is going the numbers will keep building and I just love it I just love it. oh by the way if you guys haven't seen in the recent uh, v-jump leak for JP apparently the STR Super Saiyan Blue Kaken Goku which was a global exclusive or global first up until now is finally coming to JP so for you JP players out there, um, if you're you know having some trouble deciding whether or not the STR Super Saiyan Blue Goku or Super Saiyan Blue Kaoken Goku is worth summoning for, you can use this video as a quick reference to help you decide whether or not to spend those stones. But I gotta say, man, I personally feel like it is 100% worth it. He is one of my favorite units in the entire game. Uh, look at that, three million now with the Bula on rotation. 3 million! He literally went from 1.3 to 2 million and then 3 million. Super Saiyan Blue Kaoken Goku with 3.4 and a crazy crit right there too. Yo, please don't super my Bula though. Of all the units to super, don't super... Oh, thank you. Okay, we got the dodge. We got the dodge. Perfect. Oh, man. So, I came in here not expecting to beat it, but honestly, um... I wouldn't mind it because I still need to beat the legendary Goku event with a universe survival saga team. Oh wait, hold on. We don't have a full team. Okay, never mind. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But if we happen to beat it, like I'm not gonna quit anytime, right? So like if we we'll go as far as this team will take us. I'm not gonna use any items or anything like that. 
But if we somehow manage to no item the event with uh, this team with two supports and also the Super Saiyan Blue Gokus, which are not really, you know, good tanks by any means. Uh, if we somehow manage to beat it with this team, then it's awesome, right? But as I said, I'm not expecting it. That's not the point here. Um, the only purpose here is to just show you guys, yo, these guys are monsters, man. These guys are monsters. And if you, on JP, want to run this rotation, then you got to summon for the STR Super Saiyan Blue Cock and Goku. I mean, of course, it depends on a lot of, a lot of other factors, like uh, how good the banner is and all that stuff. But just look at this guy. Yo, <laughs> just look at him. By the way, he's not rainbowed. I don't know if you saw. He's not rainbowed. Um, only have one dupe in him. A single dupe, 3.4 million with that super, 3.6 with the AGL Goku. Yo, this dude is getting crits everywhere. That's kind of wild. Yo. Uh, I think he actually has less crit in his hidden potential system too than my STR one. Because I think I gave the STR one 14. And I think I gave the AGL one 11. So it's weird that he's getting so many more crits. Um, but it is what it is. That's okay. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Both of them combined that last turn generated about 7 million in total attack that's crazy dude now i'm not saying that they're the hardest hitting rotation in the game because i'm sure uh other rotations have oh like for example this rotation right here the um the uh phase 17 and also the go frieza probably is a harder hitting rotation overall all, overall on average right but they gotta be up there. I mean, especially when you consider rotations of only two TURs as opposed to LRs. Like, with only TURs, they gotta be one of the hardest hitting rotations in the game, right? I haven't done the calculations. I can't say for sure. But I'm just going off of what I see right now. Like, these guys hit stupid, stupid hard. Okay, this is gonna be a bit of a tough rotation. Uh, even though both of them have decent defense, right? Over 100,000 for uh, both blue Gokus. Like, this... Godku hits really, really hard when he supers you, so I'm uh, just pop Icarus here. I know I said I was going to use items, but I want to showcase the rotation a little bit more, so we're going to use a little bit of damage reduction just to allow us to go a little bit further in case we get supered, right? All right, here we go. So yeah, like I said, guys, every single time they super, they're building attack, stacking attack. 2.9 mil this time with no support, the last time we had support. So 2.9 mil, still not, still not bad. Of course, we still have to get the active skill off too. So I'm not gonna leave until we pop that active skill. 3.23 mil this time from the AGL Goku. Additional, not a super, but 1.25 with the additional normal attack. If only we didn't have type disadvantage, that would have been a lot more impressive. But just watch, just watch, all right? You haven't seen anything yet. We still have to use that active skill. And uh, I don't know if I mentioned this, but he also buffs the entire rotation when he when we use that active skill. So not only is he going to be hitting super, super hard um, with the Spirit Bomb, he's also going to be making the AGL Super Saiyan Blue Kaken Goku hit even harder too. And uh, I guess the support on rotation is going to hit a little bit harder, which doesn't really matter, but it's going to happen. Okay, <sighs> please. Yo, yo, don't kill me. Don't kill me. I don't know what I was worried about, honestly. <laughs> 45 damage. Damn, dude. I mean, I know we have the support. I know we have Icarus active, but I still did not expect 45 damage. That's pretty wild. That's pretty wild. I think Ofrieza might finish this off, which uh, is okay, actually. I, I wouldn't mind that. We are getting... Oh, never mind. He has more HP than I thought. Um, we are actually getting through this pretty, pretty quickly, man. Uh, I might actually try. I might actually try. I'm actually try. I'm, I'm not like, like I really was not expecting to do anything here, but you know, with the rate that we're going at, I, I feel like we actually got a decent chance. You know what I mean? So okay, let's pop Android seven, uh, number Android eight, Aider, and maybe we'll go for it. Yeah, should we go for it? I know you guys can't respond, but you're probably telling me to go for it. You're probably telling me to go for it. So I think we're going to go for it. Uh, oh, 3.85 mil. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Almost 4 mil with that super 2.5 crit. Yeah. Okay. Um, mm, this could be rough. This could be rough. 122k. Mm, not, not terrible. Not terrible. All right. And 
Oh, over 4 mil. And 2.7 mil crit from AGL Super Saiyan Blue Kalkin Goku. Oh man. Oh man. I love this rotation, man. It's so much fun. Just watching that attack go higher and higher and higher. It's, it's wild. All right, uh, Dokkan attack with the Go Frieza here. Um, yeah, it looks like we're still very much gonna be alive here. Uh, I actually kind of want to take a super in the middle, just so we can fall below 59% HP and be able to use that active skill. But at the same time, I'm also worried that we're gonna die. So that's kind of the balance you have to um, work with, right? When you're, you know, using units that have HP restrictions, like you want them to take, you want you want the team to take at enough damage to actually allow you to use the active skill or transformation or whatever. But at the same time, you don't want to die, so it's a delicate balance, a very, very delicate balance. We're probably, we probably won't die though if we take a super, so. Yo, Goku, just super away, man, just do it. Just do it, I can take it. I can take it. Dude, come on. These, yo, these, these enemies never super me when I want them to, and they always super me when I don't want them to. I swear to God, I swear it's a thing. Hmm. <laughs> All right, all right. Um, so I think we still have, yeah, I believe we still have the Aider active. Uh, if I don't use an item here, am I gonna die? Most likely, most likely. So, you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna risk it. We're gonna risk it. Cause I, I do wanna fall below 59%. I do wanna use the active skill. Uh, let's see what this does. Let's see what this does. Just, just enough damn. Ooh, 208, 208. That's uh, not terrible. That's not terrible. 3.3 mil, 3.5 mil. All right, all right. And, oh my God. <laughs> oh, I, th I, th I think we got the additional. We got the additional, uh, yeah, 50, I think it's 59% when you fall below 59% HP, so. That's why his attack went so high. 6.3 million guys. Yo, for a second I was like, what the F is going on? I don't even understand what is happening right now. So that, that's, that's what that was. That's what that was. It was the additional 59% uh, when we fall below 59% HP, as you, guys, as you guys can see right here. Let me click on this. Um, attacks effect, yeah, additional 59% HP, or sorry, attack and attacks effective against all types. When HP falls below 59% or less, once only. I don't know why it's so hard for me to hold that. Don't worry about it though. Um, let's just pop a Ghost Dasher here. We're gonna get through this rotation. And I think that's gonna, gonna be the video. Like, I, I kinda wanna go for it, but I kinda also just wanna like, you know, chill. It's been a long day. It's a Sunday. So it, it's a day to relax. You know, it's, it's a day to chill. So uh, <laughs> I still don't know what I wanna do. I still don't know what I, I, still don't know what I, what I wanna do. I, I feel like I mean, obviously, if I don't pop an item, we're probably gonna die uh, after next turn. But if I go for it, there's still a good chance I don't make it because we have so many just liabilities on this team, right? So I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm still thinking about it. We'll go with the flow, man. We'll go with the flow. All right, active skill time, my friends. Let's see how much damage this will get us. Enjoy the animation. In my opinion, one of the best active skill animations in the game for sure. Got the spirit bomb going. And then we go blue, we go Kaioken, and it will hit four. We'll get four million, not bad, not bad. I mean, it could have been worse. Um, and now let's, let's, uh, let's, let's, what should we pop? An Icarus? Let's, let's go for an Icarus. And okay, we can still get the super off, perfect. And let's see what these blue boys can do. Now, unfortunately, we don't have a support on rotation. It would've been nicer if you got that 40% extra attack, but um, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. All right, 55K, totally okay. And 3.7 mil from Super Saiyan Blue, AGL Super Saiyan Blue, almost two mil. For the oh no, why'd you have to dodge that? All right, four point five mil. You guys saw that four point five mil. So, in total, about over eight million for sure. If we factor in support, that would have been like 
I don't know, close to 10 mil probably, or more actually. If you combine the two attack stats with a support rotation, unfortunately we didn't have the support, so we weren't able to say, see that. Um, we can, yo, you know what? I kind of feel like we can do it. I kind of feel like we can do it, guys. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop the Princess Snake. And this is kind of wild, man. This, this reminds me of my EZA uh, Fizz Vegito Blue showcase, where I literally like brought a team just for the showcase, just because I, you know, I wanted to see some nice numbers. So I brought some supports and all that stuff, and we actually man managed to beat it, e even though. I really didn't intend to with the team just because of how freaking insane Fizz Vegito Blue is with his EZA. So, could it be another Fizz Vegito Blue situation here? We shall see. We shall see. I'm gonna try. Um, I think I used a few too many items uh, earlier on, so we might have screwed ourselves there. But we are gonna, at, we're, we're gonna at the very least get to UI Goku here. At the very least, we're gonna get to UI Goku. How much defense do these guys have? Uh, not a lot. Not a lot. Okay. Um, Aider, Ghost Usher. Um, none of these seem like great options to be honest. But I can't just I can't just leave it because he will he we will die. We will die. So I think I'm gonna go with an Usher for now. Let's go for an Usher for now, and just try to nuke him as much as possible before we have to take an attack. Or take a super, because um, that is gonna hurt a lot. We have two LR Go Frieza's on this team, and those guys are not gonna tank very well for us here. All right, almost four mil there. SSB KK four point six mil. I, mean, I guess technically they're both super. Sa Actually, no, the the AGL one is just Super Saiyan Blue, which makes no sense to me, um, because he is clearly Super Saiyan Blue. How can in the art and all that stuff, but. You know what, it's not up to me. <laughs> it's, it's all good. Uh, let's put Android 17 there. Um, go Frieza, I think I can trust him to at least take... You know what, if we get supered, we're still screwed. If we get supered, we're still screwed. Uh, should I pop the Princess Snake, or would that be a waste? Oh, you know what, let's go for Android 8, because at least we can get some extra defense here. Right, for the next rotation as well. Because it's two turns, okay. Okay, I think this is the better move. So, Android 8, we have one item left, which I'll probably save for the next next rotation, because I think the blue Gokus can survive the next turn with no items. Possibly. What's this gonna do? What's this gonna do? Under 100k, please. Under 100k would be 37. 37, that's great. That's wonderful. Alright, taking all these for, for double digits. Alright, alright. <sighs> Had to dodge that super. My goodness, and that one too. I mean, that that's not as bad. Um. Okay, so I can't afford to use a princess snake here, so we're just gonna let fate uh, decide the outcome for us. All right, we're just gonna leave it up to destiny. Seventy-four. All right, three point nine, almost four mil. Okay, okay. Ooh, and here comes the super. At least it wasn't on Supreme kind of time, so it could have been worse. Here comes the super, 274k. Oh my god. 5.4. 5.4, and, he, and he's taking it. He's taking it. Crit, please. Oh, no crit there. Okay, but we're, we're taking these hits really, really well. Right, that that's that's really solid, man. It's still double digits for um, STR. Ninety-eight damage. Oh, and we're dead, and we're dead. Yo, she could have dodged for us. She has like a level ten dodge on her passive too, or uh, her hidden potential. Well, there you go, guys. We tried, we tried, and I came in initially just being like, we're showcasing this this rotation. That's it. That's literally all we're doing. And as it turns out, we actually got pretty close to uh, beating this legendary Goku event, just because of how much damage these guys do, honestly. And of course, the LR Go Freezes helped a lot too, but at the very very end there, just with like the supports and also um, the Go Freezes being tech as well, and him dodging those attacks, I mean, it just didn't work out. If I had made a minor adjustment to this team and maybe less support, obviously, then we probably could have beat it. But uh, this time it wasn't meant to be. That's okay though, you guys saw. We, we accomplished the, the purpose. 
we came here to do. That sentence made no sense. You know what I'm trying to say though? We, we accomplished what we came here to accomplish, and that is to just showcase the absolute juggernaut. Both of these guys are, but especially together. All right, they're good individually, but they're insane as a rotation, as a duo. So there you go, guys. My favorite rotation in the entire game. Two of my favorite units in the game, especially this guy. And uh, if you guys are on JP and the banner's about to drop, then uh, I would recommend to summon for this guy. But that's up to you, of course. It's up to your... Uh, depends on how many stones you have. Depends on if you're free to play, pay to play, how good the banner is. Um, all that good stuff. So it's up to you. But I think... He is worth your stones. He is one of my favorite units in the game for sure. And there you go, guys. That is today's showcase. That is today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.